If you like Ben 10, hit that subscribe button. Hello my brothers and sisters, my god, this is your brother in Christ, Abstraction is still here with another video, and in this video, <laughs> I'm talking so fast, but in this video I'm going to show you guys how I drew Omni Not Slapback for uh, the Ben 10 Reboot Season 5. This is just a fan made alien, but I uh, really uh, worked really hard on this, and I drew this all by hand, so I'm showing you guys how I did this. Not completely, but I'm showing you the uh, important parts and the parts that um, may help you, um, but yeah. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting out. I started out with the um, part that I already draw. I basically looked at slapback and uh, Omni kick slapback and saw what I could try to do. I had this pose in mind before I even started drawing, and I knew I wanted him to be in this kind of pose with his arms raised up and his uh, his left leg back, his right leg like up out there. Um, I just wasn't sure exactly how I wanted him to look. I struggled with the arms, as you can tell. I, <laughs> yeah, it looks really trash right now. Don't worry, it gets better though. Um, but yeah, anyways, I uh, am the program I'm using is I'm using Krita, and I learned how to do this from an artist on DeviantArt, who is also he also has a YouTube channel. Um, I learned how to do this from him, and he's called, well, I, I kind of learned how to do this from him. He's uh, he's called Codex 47K, something like that, and uh, he basically told me how he makes his art, and he does his art completely on computer, and I was like, dang, dude, these are amazing, how do you do this? So he linked me all his tutorials and everything, he showed me what he told me about what he did and stuff like that, he answered all my questions, and he was really helpful. Uh, when I actually got to starting it, I was like, aw oh, man, you see, you see how much I'm struggling right now? Like. When I started doing this, I was like, oh man, I don't know if I can really do this. I I, I don't want to give up, though. I already told a bunch of people I'm going to be drawing omni Not Slapback, so I can't give up. Uh, so then I, I, I contacted Nexus. Uh, Nexus Prime, the YouTuber. He has a YouTube channel of his own, and he also makes omni Not Armor uh, fan arts. And uh, I contacted him. He told me about how he makes his art, and I was mind blown. And I'm not even going to tell you guys how he does it. Uh, I'm not gonna give away his secrets, but he he uses a program that's not even meant for art, and somehow makes better art. Like the program he uses is worse than Microsoft Paint, but somehow he manages to make art that looks so good. And I was like, okay, if he can do this, then what's stopping me from doing something this similar? So. Uh, Nexus gave me a few tips, and they really did help out a lot. They gave me the confidence I needed, not only his tips, but also the fact that he somehow managed to create the some of the greatest fan art I've ever seen uh, for uh, Omni Not Armor. Like, the only one who could do better is probably Xander. Like, all the other fan art that I've seen is just, like, not, not even comparable with Nexus's. So, um, and Codex. Codex 47K. Um, so... If, I was like, okay, if Nexus can create something so good, then so can I. So, Nexus, I followed his tips, I followed Codex's tips, and I made something amazing. And I really am happy with how it turned out. Um, as you can see, I'm starting with the legs. I made the legs too thick, so I'm thinning them out um, in this part of the video. And you can see it actually starts to look kind of good. Oh, and uh, you probably noticed before that I was tracing um, Slapback's arms. Uh, that's because his arms were really difficult for me. The only part that I didn't trace was the circular shoulders. I didn't trace those. I actually didn't like how the shoulders were looking before, but I uh, made them circular, and then I traced the arms. The bicep and the um, other one, I forgot what it's called. Um, you see me playing with the colors. I uh, came up with the design myself. I wasn't really sure how I wanted the design to look, but uh, I just kind of played with it, looked how it was, and I liked how this looked. Uh, Omni Kick Slapback has a different shirt design than um, than regular slapback, so I decided to make Omni Not Slapback also different. Um, here I'm adding a glow effect to the green parts of the um, Omni Not feet, um, and by do I did that by making a new layer, um, adding a Gaussian blur of about 50%, and uh, that did that. Now I'm adding wings, I just kind of made those from scratch. Um, on a different layer, and then I combine the layers. 
Uh, this these wings were actually based off of um, Omni Knot's Shock Rock. I liked how his wings were, and I thought they would fit Slapback. I added I added the same glow effects to the wings as I did to the um, the feet. The hardest part about drawing this was the drawing, the outlining that you saw at the beginning of the video, like with those arms when I had to trace. That was hard. And the other hardest part was the shading and highlighting, which I'm about to do. Um, the coloring was pretty easy. I already knew which colors I needed to use because I already knew what slapback looked like, and I just needed to follow the colors. The pose was easy. I knew what I wanted the pose to be like. And um, the body. The body was just hard for me. At first, I made the legs too long and everything, um, and the body too, too long as well, so I had to fix that. And that's what you saw at the beginning of the video, but I fixed all that. Now you see me shading. I actually was not really sure what I was doing. I actually ended up having to go to Discord, and I joined like some art help Discord server. And I was like, yo, I need some help with this. I don't know any I don't know a thing about shading. Because the thing is, guys, I haven't drawn anything for years, and now I'm trying to draw something by hand on with on a computer with a mouse. So you can imagine how difficult that might be. I'm just struggling with shading. And I've never shaded before. I've never even drawn anything from scratch like this before. So for me to um, to know how to shade and highlight and stuff like that, it was just difficult. So I did get help. And um, you're going to see soon that, yeah, right there. You see that someone showed me where to highlight and where to shade. So I just kind of followed that around. Basically, the way they explained it was you got to like establish a light source and the wherever it's pointing... Wherever something is getting covered by the light source, you highlight it, and then if 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 it if something is getting covered by something else, then you just shadow it. I don't know how to explain it. It's just I'm I'm new to this. I'm just as new as this is to you. Uh, the only thing, the only experience I had with this was I I'm very experienced in photoshopping or I guess photo editing. I don't really use Photoshop a lot. I use Pixlr and Photo P. I do have used Photoshop a couple times, but. I, I'm good at photo editing, and that did give me experience when it comes to using the tools such as the, the wand tool and the paint bucket tool and stuff like that. But that's stuff you can learn. But if you are if you don't know a thing about Photoshop, then you're probably not going to be able to make something like this out of the blue. I didn't know that much about di digital drawing, but I do have experience in drawing, even though I haven't done it in a while. And I have... Um, that's kind of why I was able to make something like this, but I honestly surprised myself. I did not think I would be able to make something this good out of on a PC with a mouse, so I'm very happy with it, with how it turned out. See me just fixing a few things, cleaning it up. Um, that that Onitrix symbol I actually copied and pasted, um, but yeah, and then I just edited it. I'm editing the shadows on a different layer, editing the highlights as well, um, and uh, just a uh, Highlighting the wings, and there we go. We have Omni-Not Slapback, and he looks kind of clean. I'm ge I genuinely surprised myself. I did not think I'd ever make something this good in my life. Uh, never thought I'd even a be able to draw on, on on a computer like this. So thank you to Codex 47K. Thank you to Nexus Prime, and this is Omni-Not Slapback, and he's gonna slap you back to whatever planet you came from. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, God bless. I hope to see you next time.